There we are. Maybe. Hey, look at that. It actually worked. What is happening, everyone? Merry Christmas. Welcome. Welcome to my ham shack with my with my death miss cre uh, tree here. Uh, <laughs> I hope everyone had a good uh, a good Christmas day and uh, got everything everything that uh, you guys wrote in for for uh, last mailbag Monday. What's a bit low? Ain't nothing a bit low. Uh, I but I want to say so we did uh, in case you were living under a rock we did a live stream on Friday. And is the audio low? Why is the audio low? The audio is never low. It's always the same. Nothing ever changes. Turn up your volume. Uh, yeah, I'm cranked on my end. Let's see if we can. We'll give it a little more beans. Is that better? Anyway, so we did a. Uh, oh, your your volume was. <laughs> I'm turning down again. Uh, we did a live stream uh, on Friday night, and it was for the ARRL's Teachers Institute. And if you look at the uh, video, the, the donation thing is still there if you still want to donate. Uh, there's also a link in the description of that video. But it says we raised like 15280 some odd dollars. In all reality, there was another link that I had posted uh, uh, pinned to the top of the live chat. And Steve Goodgame uh, the other day posted in our uh, uh, on Discord. We actually raised seventeen thousand eight hundred thirty-one dollars for the ARRL Teachers Institute on that live stream. So, uh, just got to give a huge thank you to everyone that participated and donated. Uh, that just means so much. I think Steve said that we'll pay for like six people to uh, go to the ARRL Teachers Institute and. Uh, be able to learn about ham radio, get licensed, bring what they know back to their classroom, and share it with the next generation. So that's awesome. So, why are we here? Oh, Satan decided to wake up. Hi. He's been sleeping in his king-size bed all day. I just threw a load of laundry on the bed, and he decided to bury himself in it. But I guess he's, I guess he's ready to open some presents. <laughs> so... Uh, first and foremost, I hope everybody got what they, uh, what they were asking for. I got a whole bunch, Santa dropped off a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, oddly enough, he used my debit card for the majority of this, <laughs> which is, I thought that was kind of weird, but first and foremost, before we get too into this, we need to, we need to make a change because this right here. Hear ye, hear ye. From henceforth on this day, December 25th, 2023, in the year of our Lord, I shall forever be named Lord, it should say Mike Dahlhofer, Lord Mike Dahlhofer. Hear ye, hear ye. So I am now a Lord and I shall be addressed accordingly. You may call me Lord Mike, Lord K -D -M -R -D, Lord K Murder, Lord of the Murder, so long as there's Lord in there. This came from uh, Lord Callum <laughs> from DX Commander. <laughs> and uh, that is awesome, because Callum is like a real Lord, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know the actual legal validity of this, but... It's, it's more an honorary thing, I think. But how cool is that? I am now Lord, Lord of the Murder. I am not Lord of the Dance. <laughs> so thank you, Caleb. <laughs> Lord of the Murder. I like that. Now, so some of you who are watching the live stream on Friday may have noticed something different about me. I'll give you a hint. It's on my left wrist. So I have been struggling to find a good watch for a long time. I actually used to wear a fossil and it used to be a really, 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 really good watch and I wore it for years and you've seen it in many of my videos for probably the last four years. It's the black watch that I was wearing. Well, that broke and I sent it to fossil to fix and when I got it back, it wasn't waterproof anymore. 
So I sent it back to them, and they sent me a new one, and then that one sucked, and then they sent me another new one. Uh, I think they sent me three new watches, and they were all not waterproof. So Fossil can go suck a bag of dicks. Uh, I have worn many Fossil watches in my day, and I will never buy another Fossil. So I bought this Invicta on uh, Prime Day, I think it was. And this was, it's a freaking dive watch, right? This is the kind of watch that I like. A big, tri this is like a 50 millimeter. I mean, it's a giant honking thing. It's got the rotating bezel, all that. And it just, it looks cool, right? Well, this watch sucks. It's not waterproof. You get, you get fog under the crystal. Um, so there goes that. I'll end up, I'm going to take both of those out to the shooting range and we'll probably shoot them. So Fossil can eat a bag of dicks, and so can uh, Invicta. Don't buy Invicta. So I finally broke down and asked Santa for an Apple Watch. So I have an Apple Watch now, and I really like it. So with that, though, I think these three... Tell me which view I got. So I've got this view here. This is. I figured this would be the opening view, but I kind of don't like it. But if you like it, because... That's just my iPhone pumped into OBS. So this, I think, well, let's see. So I got the black strap with the Apple Watch. And then I got this thing here. This is just some cheap Chinese. Um, I've actually been wearing it for a couple days, so it's kind of dirty. But a little, like, kind of ruggedized case because I'm pretty not gentle on things. So I imagine I'll probably... Uh, I don't expect to get the, the life out of this watch that uh, I probably would if I weren't, um, if I were a gentle person. So I got this little rubber ruggedized case. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I got some accessories because you got to take this. I've been getting like 24 hours of battery life out of uh, this watch, but you got to take, you got you to charge it, right? You got to charge it every day. So I'm like, I, when I travel, I bring like, some kind of battery pack with me, whether it's Big Geek or Little Geek or even just a, um, you know, one of those those battery pack things. Um, so I had to get some accessories. This is a glass uh, protector for the, uh, and like, I, you know, you, you put the little glass screen protector on your, uh, on your phones, right? So somewhere in here, oh, are some little glass screen protectors. So we'll put those on off camera because I'm sure that will be an absolute nightmare. But the watch was on sale. I think Santa used my debit card and it was like, I think it was like 350 bucks, something like that. It's a Series 9, which oddly enough, the Apple Series 9, Apple just lost a lawsuit because I guess the blood oxygen sensor in here, they, they infringed on a patent. So they pulled these off the market uh, just yesterday. I think it was either yesterday or the day before. And it's only been out for a couple months. Let's see, what is this? So thanks, everybody, for showing up. I hope you're all having a, a very Merry Christmas. What do we got? 120 people watching. Holy hillbilly. That's awesome. Um, oh, after this, uh, at 4 o'clock, so, well, 4, four o'clock Central, um, jump over to Steve's channel, Temporarily Offline. He's doing a, um, like, a white elephant Christmas live stream so I guess he's going to give away something and then the next person to win can either keep their pro, uh, their gift or they can steal from the person ahead of them and then it just you know however many prizes he or, or giveaways he has so that starts at four what is this here okay so this is a um, just a charger an extra charger to charge the Apple watch it's just a little magnetic thing what the hell else is in here uh, oh, and then this I thought was cool. This is a, uh, um, there is, so it's a USB-C to Apple Watch charger to lightning cable. So I can plug this into Big Geek, theoretically. Let's see here, let me unconfigulate this. So the USB-C will plug into my USB, and then that can charge the Apple Watch, and then that can charge my iPhone all in one cord. So that's pretty awesome. I think I have like every Apple product now. Not like every version, but like I have a Mac M1 Pro. I've got a Mac Mini. I've got an iPhone. I've got an Apple Watch. Um, Magic Mouse. Apple Keyboard. Yeah, they got me. I'm fully in. <laughs> fully encouraged. 
an Apple product. What else? What else is this? I might this might I might have gotten another cord. I know this isn't the cool ham radio stuff. There's some really cool stuff behind us. Uh, let's see, what is that? Oh, and then this is a uh, like a splitter. So same concept as the one before, USB C, and then you can charge your Apple Watch and your iPhone. Um, so a bunch of different charging cables to bring in all the different packs. Because I know the second I go anywhere, um, like tomorrow, I'm going out to Vern Six's house, and we're gonna we're gonna spend a few days together. Joe Barrett and his wife are coming out, and Tio and his wife are there. So we're gonna have some we're gonna have some good fun on Circle Six. We're actually going out to San Antonio. <clears throat> um, this High Sense box. <laughs> this is uh, actually I had to buy uh, or I had to ask Santa for a new TV because the one I use here as my monitor. Uh, broke the, the, the screen started dying so I had to uh, ask for that so that's already out of the box and I'm using it otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this stream here uh, I need a MacBook wheel what is a MacBook wheel is that something I've uh, am I am I missing out on <laughs> an Apple product <laughs> all right um, let's see here oh that's just the Apple watch box Let's do this. This is an exciting box, I think. Oh, you know what? I think there might be another uh, accessory in here. So, okay. This, so this is a power bank. Another thing, like a portable thing to charge the Apple Watch. This is, uh, I may or may not have already opened this. But this is, this is pretty cool. Because it's just a, it's just a power bank, and and that right there is the magnet where you put the Apple Watch, and you can actually put these things up, and it'll like hold it in. If I can show you, it'll hold the Apple Watch in place, so you can like set it on your desk and use it as like a night clock or something like that. But I just wanted it because it's a little battery that I don't need another battery bank to charge the Apple Watch. So I forgot about that. Now, what? Christmas wouldn't be complete without clothes. <laughs> I didn't get any socks. I got plenty of socks, but I got uh, this is a new pair of new pair of cargo shorts, much much like the ones I'm wearing right now. In fact, they are the exact same ones, but a different color. Um, I've got a, I've got a few pairs of these cargo pants, and what are they? these? Are Union Bay cargo pants? So, I like them. They hold up. They hold up very well. I've done many a hiking and uh, traveling and all kinds of stuff with those. So, uh, let's see. What should we open? What should we open next? Oh, what's that box? I know what's in that. Oh, you, can you see? Can you see the label on that box right there? Can you see it? What does it say? I think. It, I think it might say Denco. It does. It might say Denco. We get a Denko for the win in the chat because this was a prototype Denko. Well, it still is. Um, <laughs> this is still a Denko. Uh, the BMS failed on this. This is um, when he was just kind of making them. Uh, I've had this for three or four years now, uh, but the BMS died. And I, I, I was testing some batteries. I was doing a review of this battery tester thing and realized that this does not work. So um, Dennis texted me, and he's like, wow, wow, what? So oh, hang on. I'm this many. <laughs> so he sent me um, a new BMS to replace this BMS, but he also sent along the kit now, uh, which is this. So this is the kit that you can get from Denko. So he already solders, or, or welds rather, the pack together, and all you really do is um, put, the, put the BMS, you know, you just kind of solder the BMS wires where they go, and um, do, do a little bit of wiring. It's, it's pretty easy, but we, I'll be doing a video of that. But on the, on the battery that Dennis made me, notice there is a voltmeter. 
and a USB. So that's on a um, like a 3D printed board. It's kind of hard to see on camera here, but um, I found a USB-C outlet. So I redesigned the board that's 3D printed on there. So I'll be I'll be putting uh, a USB-C outlet on this Denco. But the cool thing about this, these are the new cells. These are actually 6,000 milliamp hour cells. I think he rates these at five amp hours, maybe five and a half. But uh, you might not be able to see that. Let me try this camera. See how the cells themselves say Denco? How freaking cool is that? So 32,700 cells, 6,000 milliamps, Denco battery. So that's awesome. And then he sent me new, uh, a new, a new uh, USB thing. And there's a, a new voltmeter and a switch and everything in there. So we will be doing a build of that on the channel uh, soon. Thank you, Dennis. Adam Dennis for sending that out. 86DM. <clears throat> so that's cool. Um, let's open. You can't see me. Let's open this big one now. This one came all the way from England. We'll do it this way. Yeah. <clears throat> I see quirky QRP in the chat. Don DeGidio, what's going on, buddy? How are you? Snow cones. Andy Cowley was first, by the way. He's, he, he made his first comment hours and hours and hours ago. So this came from, uh, let's see here. Oh, DX Commander. I wonder what it could be. So first off, this is a little, little extra bonus here. Let's crack this open. I saw Josh wearing this on uh, Saturday on his live stream. Callum emailed me a while ago. He's like, what's your, uh, what's your shirt size? I'm like, are you going to send me a shirt? Cool. So this is a DX Commander shirt. Oh, wow, that's embroidered. That's nice. And we got to check this out. Lord Mike. Lord Mike, yes, as it were. So brilliant. Lord Mike. That is excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Callum. Now, let's see what this is. This, I think, would I, would I would guess, if I were a betting man, I would guess this is a DX Commander Expedition, because I don't have enough of these yet. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll do something special with this. Like open it. Come on! All right. I gotta say, they are packaged exquisitely. So when you get a DX Commander Expedition, it, the, the mast comes in this little case thing here that, there we are. And then look, look at that. Is that sexy or what? I love this new... It's kind of like a brownish green. It's really awesome, but it's this mast feels just a touch better quality than the original DX Commander Expedition mast. Not much, but some, just a little bit, like specifically this bottom plate. I mean, other than that, it's exactly the same, but this bottom plate just feels a little... A little more solid so that's awesome um, and then you're gonna get all your all your bits and bobs when you get a DX commander so here's the let's see here's your SO239 here's the uh, oh these are brilliant these new plates are first off that's probably three-eighths of an inch thick I mean these are just Stupid strong. The the wire goes in the little gap there. These are just... Callum has taken an amazing product that he invented and keeps redefining it and reimagining and, and, and just the, the quality just keeps getting better and better. It was already awesome quality to begin with. 
and now it, he just keeps keeps developing and getting better. So here's all your bits and bobs, your doingies, and all your uh, connectors and everything. So you get everything you need, and then these are the um, – they're not zip ties, but the, you, you crank them down, and that's what holds all the sections together so it doesn't collapse on you. So thank you, Callum. Now I have two – DX Commander expeditions that I need to put together. We might give this. We might give this to someone in need. Oh, and then the the wire is in there as well. I forgot the. Uh, you get like a hundred meters of uh, the DX10 wire. This wire is awesome. It's very good. So everything you need, all in one box. The the cool thing about DX Commander is if you order a DX Commander today. It'll, it'll be at your house yesterday. Their shipping is just, I don't know how they do it, but their shipping is just stupid fast. I mean, realistically, you'll probably have it in like three days. It's crazy. All right. Now, um, in that box is something... Um, Something that I ragged on earlier this year when me and Ryan were at uh, Big Bend National Park. But since then, we've found out that it may or may not have just been our own stupidity. Can I raise this? Yeah, that's a little better. Um, so there's some Chineseium in here. But they're actually really good. And listen up, hams. They're cheap. Two things that don't usually go together. Really good and cheap. You get them off of uh, AliExpress. Tank, your stream ended a while ago. You just didn't hit the end button. Uh, like, <laughs> like when you were at my house a few months ago. So can anyone guess what these are? There's five of them in here. One's for 40, one's for 20, one's for 17, one's for 15, and one's for 10. There you go. Andy Cowley got it. We got, ta-da, the AliExpress bandpass filters. And these are really, really awesome. All metal, body. Um, they're like, depending on the frequency, they're going to range anywhere from... They're like 40 to 50 bucks each. Free shipping, or they lower the price, um, but then they charge you shipping. So either way, they're like 40 to 50 bucks, depending on the frequency. Um, but they actually work. And, and like, there's not too many times where you're not going to want one of these unless you're operating solo. But every time we do field day or every time I go out with friends, it's like, who's got bandpass filters? Because unless you're all sharing one radio and you're just passing the mic or, or you're only operating one operator at the same time, chances are you're going to be interfering with each other. So let's see. We got 40, 20, 17, 15, and 10. All of that for like 250 bucks. Took about two weeks to ship from China, and these things are awesome. So um, I already did a video of these at Ryan's house. We kind of showed like the um, the SWR through them and also the the filtering, the rejection. I may do another video on these. I don't know, but um, it, these are just such an important thing to have in your your portable uh, setup. So very 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 excited to have to finally have my own set of bandpass filters. Even we go to we go to field day. Um, like Jason's got bandpass filters. I think he has everything but 17. And then we have to leave it up to Frank to bring the 17 meter bandpass filter because I guess he has one of those. And we all know how that goes. Hi, Frank. <laughs> so now, because I'm going on the 30th. So tomorrow I'm driving out to Vern's house. And then on, so we'll be out there for a few days. And then on, uh, I'll either get back on the 30th or the morning of the 31st, which is New Year's Eve. And then I have to 
basically come home, probably do a quick load of laundry, repack, and then drive down to Galveston because we're doing, um, I think I'm still invited <laughs> to Jason's house in Galveston uh, for our for the New Year's Eve live stream. And uh, then we're going to be doing a POTA New Year's Day on Galveston Island. So I've got a busy uh, a busy week coming up. I have no idea. I've got one more video that I've already uh, made that will come out Wednesday. And who knows what will happen the rest of the yeah, I don't know. You may or may not see video. <laughs> but I'll be with a bunch of hams, so I'm sure we'll be filming and editing. So, um, All right. This little box here. This is a radio that not too many people have seen. And there's not much on YouTube about this either. But I found one, and I bought it. And it is, I'm going to tell you, it's a Bofang killer. All right? Because that's what that's what we do. Everything's a Bofang killer, right? No matter what radio it is. Look out, Bofang. We got a new Bofang killer. Well, as it turns out, Bofang made a radio that's a Bofang killer. And it's in this box. And this is the what I forgot the model. Um well here, let's just let's just open it up and show you. I'm gonna do a review of this. Uh there is a GMRS version of this that's that's been uh published, but I haven't really seen any ham videos of this? Oh, geez. A used VX7R is a Bofang killer. You're damn right it is. The, VX, uh, the VX7R is like my favorite radio. That thing is just bulletproof. It's a tank. It's waterproof. It's easy to program. And it doesn't do APRS. So, hey, TC Fitz with the $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Let me get you up there. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. TC Fitz was one of our generous uh, donators on the live stream. Uh, so this is the UV5RM. Let's go to another angle here. A little bit bigger than a standard Bofang. It's about 1.5 Bofangs tall. It doesn't use the same... I think you, can, you might be able to use the same battery. No, you can't because it's taller. So it's not really compatible with the other Bofangs, but... That's it. The UV. It does. Uh, it's got AM airband. It's got a color screen. Um, this button here. It's. I won't say it's a frequency counter, but if it hears a, a frequency, you hold this button down, and if there's anything anything transmitting around that it can hear, it'll find the frequency and it'll find um, like the tone that it's using. AM airband, VHF, UHF, ten watts. So I'll be doing a review on this soon. Probably won't be until the new year, as I will not be home to shoot such videos in the next few days. And finally, finally, this big boy right here. This is something I've been wanting for a while. This, if you can't already tell, from a company called Lee Time. They sent me this. I was, I was actually going to buy one of these uh, on Amazon because they were on sale. I think it was like, they were on sale for like uh, 250 bucks. Tommy Helton, thanks for the $2 super chat, buddy. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you, good sir. Um, but then I was like, wait a minute. I could make a video. I was going to make a video anyway. So I emailed Lee Time, and I'm like, hey, would you guys want to uh, send me one of these uh, so I can do a video? And they're like, okay. So this is, I, I have not opened this. Most of the other stuff I've opened, um, although this looks like it was opened and then retaped. Interesting. But this is a 3,000-watt inverter. to go with my ginormous BioNO batteries, right? So like if the power goes out or something, this should be, and it's a pure sine wave inverter. It's not the other, uh, I forget what other kind of inverter there is, but this is a pure sine wave. I don't have the test equipment to test how pure the sine wave is on this, but it's it should, let me try and get this out of the box. Um, you know, it, it should be able to, the other kind like won't work for uh, like microwaves and things like that. This one should. 
So we've got some uh, power cables. It's got a remote. So like if you're doing uh, in a camper or something. Oh, we get two sets. We get two sets of power cables. That's nice. I think these are only like four gauge though. So I don't know, but 3,000 watts. So there, put it upside down so you guys can see it. Get out of the way. That is the 3,000 watt power inverter. How freaking cool is that? So I'm pretty excited for this. Power hasn't gone out as much uh, lately here at the house, but when I first moved here, power went out. Like any time it rained, the power would go out. So now that I have batteries, I've got an inverter, I'm ready for, uh, bring on the zombie apocalypse, honestly. Hey, look at that, K, I can't read, KK4TXBTV with the 49.99 Super Chat. Wow, thank you so much, man, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm probably, um, I'm probably most excited about this inverter, I'm not going to lie. So, my plan is I'm going to hook up my, my BioNO batteries. I've got a couple 300 amp hour batteries, and, um... I want to like see, because I don't have an RV, right? Um, I want to see what I can do with this at home. So like if the power goes out. I mean, I'm, I'm 70 miles north of Houston. I haven't, we haven't had any hurricanes since I moved to Texas, but short, uh, shortly before I moved to Texas, there or maybe a couple of years before I moved to Texas, there, were some, uh, there was a big hurricane that really kind of devastated uh, Houston. So... You know, I am in nature event prone areas. So if power goes out, I want to be prepared. So I want to see like, uh, you know, will this work with a microwave? Will, uh, well, that's, that's the million dollar question, Ken. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to find all that out. I just unboxed it. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it's, it's straight from China, but Lee time, which is what this is, um, was Ampere Time. Ampere Time, if you've seen anything from them, they rebranded, and now they're Lee Time. So this is basically Ampere Time um, 3000 watt inverter. So I want to see, like, you know, uh, with my fridge, with um, microwaves, you know, the, all the, all the kind of household things, what can you do with it? What will it power? You know, you, you could make, a like, a, a UPS, a, a backup system for your... You know, for like everything in here, aside from this TV, actually, that I use as my monitor, pretty much everything in here is 12 volts. So I don't need an inverter for much, but, and even, even to charge my computer, I can use my, my battery box or something. I can, I can charge that off a of USB-C, but, um, you know, circular saws, power tools, that anything off grid. If this thing is RFI quiet, I, you know, this is probably something that I might bring to uh, field day or something to have some 120 volt power. We usually have generators going out there, but if we could do everything off of solar, um, you know, how cool would that be? So that's kind of, that's my plan with this guy. So I'm, I'm really excited to finally have been able to open this on Christmas because <laughs> I want to play with this. I was thinking last night, like I just ordered another, uh, it's a 275 amp switch. I've got fuses and stuff. I've got all the wiring. Um, I'll probably use this wiring, but I've got I've got one aught gauge wire, which is like twice as thick as that. But uh, who knows? So that, as they say, is that. Um, I think that's everything. Did we all Did we all have fun? Did we all have a merry Christmas? That's all I got. So, uh, what time is it? I hope, t I expect to see everyone uh, and on uh, TO's stream temporarily offline in uh, 30, 20, mm, 27 minutes. So type in temporarily offline in your YouTube search bar there and uh, go watch them. So with that, I will bid a very, very Merry Christmas to all. Thanks to all the Super Chats. Thanks to everyone who participated and donated to the ARL Teachers Institute. Hey, Mike and to MAK with the with the coming in late with the $5 Super Chat. Thank you, buddy. Merry Christmas to you, Mike. Um, 
thank you everyone this has been an amazing year um we had a, we had a name change of the channel views are going up everything's everything's looking good uh i'm not a new year's resolution kind of guy but i look forward to just growing growing more as a creator growing more with the channel and um maybe being a better person but that's probably not going to happen we <laughs> Let's let's set realistic expectations. So, hear ye, hear ye, says Lord Mike KMRD. Wait a minute, Mark K five Y A C with the twenty dollars super chat to Lord Murder. Thank you, good sir, very very much. I very much appreciate. It. He says, "Good job this week, Mike. Thank you, thank you, man. Honestly, dude, that was such an honor to be able to to be able to do that for the ARL and to be the first YouTuber who's ever done or the first ham radio YouTuber who's ever done a fundraiser like that. I was the first, so that was awesome. And I know we're gonna see more from my uh, my friends, my colleagues, if you will. Um, I know, I know, ideas are already circulating. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next time on Ham Radio Tube 73 for now.